Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to show you a profitable crypto trading strategy that I use and I wanted to share it with you guys as well. Hope you will get value out of it. But before we start the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you like the content that you see. Also, feel free to share the video. Uh, that will be very much appreciated. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section down below. Any videos, ideas, everything, you can uh, drop a comment down below. I will make sure to check it out. Also, if you guys are interested in learning my strategies or joining my Signal group, make sure to DM me on Telegram. I will leave you my Telegram link down below as well. So yeah, let me get straight into the video. Before I get into the strategy, I want to tell you guys that uh, leverage trading crypto is very, very risky and you should do your own research at first. Uh, start trading on a demo first with leverage because it's very risky. A leverage trading crypto, it is very, very risky and you should be very careful with it. Otherwise, you could lose your whole account and it's not, uh, it's not pleasing, you know. So let me get straight into the strategy. This is the this is a strategy that I use for trading crypto. It is pretty simple because I don't day trade crypto. So if y'all wonder, I don't day trade crypto. I choose not to. I like to invest in cryptocurrency long term uh, on exchanges and hold it over there. But this is the only trading strategy that I actually use on crypto. But as I said, it's not day trading and it's not scalping. Okay, I scalp and I day trade on forex pairs, gold and indices only. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that as well. So basically, um, the strategy I use uh, on, um, on cryptocurrencies um, is based on a dump. OK, so when I see a dump like this right here from almost 70K, 69K till 35, 30-ish K, this is when I will look to enter. So what I would do is I would go on the daily and on the daily time frame, I would look for support areas for very very strong support areas like the like the 33 34k all the way to 28k okay so this for me on bitcoin this for me is a very very strong support level and then what i would do is i would wait for price to do this okay uh, I'm also using the oscillator as a confluence um, for this strategy. So if you guys want to check trusted signals, I will leave their link down in my video description as well. For my entries, I, I use the oscillator, uh, which is really helpful in my opinion. So what I would wait for uh, on the daily time frame, as you guys can see, um, I would wait for price to come down here form lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and on lower time frames as well, like the H4. And then suddenly do this, this, and that's when I would enter my trade, okay? Uh, basically, I would go down on the H4 and look for market structure on the H4, right? So I would wait for price to come into this very, very strong support zone. Um, and I would look for buys here, for long positions here. This is where I would look for long positions. Let me do my drawing again. So I would wait for price to this, lower lows, lower highs, downtrend, downtrend, downtrend. And then all of a sudden, the previous lower high gets broken. Then a retrace happens. And then that's when I would enter on the retracement, probably using the FIB. I could use the FIB from here to the higher high that was created. And I would probably enter around the 61.8 area um, um, using the oscillator as a confluence as well. You know, if I would see a bullish hidden divergence, then a bullish candlestick pattern form on the H4, that's when I would enter my buy and my trade would look like this. So I would risk a whole account, let's say I deposit uh, I don't know, maybe I deposit $2,000 on one account. I would do this. I would place my long position right here. Okay. My stop loss would be, wouldn't be here. 
my stop loss would not be here because I want to be a little bit more conservative and it will actually be under this strong support zone under this strong support zone let me refine to see if everything is covered so I would put it under this week right here uh 27.5 okay so that's where i would put my stop loss to cover that week as well okay 27.5 where is that around here okay so this is where my stop loss would be for every single week to be covered let me check yeah that week is covered perfect so this is where my stop loss would be for the buy i would risk the entire account okay on this trade i will risk the whole 2k so the, uh, knowing that then i would determine my uh how what lot size i should use you know because i have my stop loss set i know how much i want to risk which is 2k for an example and then i set my lot size uh, regarding um dsl and then my take profit my take profit would be a new all-time high okay this would be my take profit so it's like a swing trade strategy uh, more or less my take profit would be probably 70k and that would be like a 11x so if you let's say if you would have risked 2k on this trade uh, and this trade would have hit your take profit and hit the new all-time high uh, you would have made 22k out of this uh, single trade okay but as i said it is a swing trade it will take a lot of time for price to do this as we are on higher time frames like h4 or daily it will take a lot but then you would enter here place your stop loss under this strong support you will bet that price won't go below it because it is very strong that's what your bet would be and then you would aim for a new all-time high you know like this is basically the strategy i will show you for ethereum the same exact team and yeah to be honest with you this is what i'm looking at this is exactly what i am looking at so if price will do this uh in the long term if price will come back here in this uh 33 till 27 ish k area i mean it already tapped here in january but it was I wanted to go a bit more deeper in it you know so that's what i'm looking for if price dips again and gives me this uh setup right here then for sure i will deposit some money on one account and i will risk the whole balance uh put my stop loss underneath the zone and aim for a new all-time high on bitcoin okay so this is how this is the trading strategy basically it is very simple but trust me it is effective it is effective it's basically a swing trading strategy but that's how i that's the only strategy i would use on crypto okay you can use this strategy on other coins as well like solana like uh, i don't know uh what should i say um all other coins like you could use it on avex on engine on whatnot you know on all other crypto coins but me personally i just stick to ethereum and bitcoin okay so sorry on ethereum we have the exact same thing so we can see that ethereum has a very strong support around this area which is a bit bigger than bitcoin i will take this whole area right here from here all the way down here this is a very strong area for ethereum basically from uh 2200 till 1600 around that area okay so then what i would wait for on the h4 i would wait for this to happen i would wait for a downtrend pattern lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low then market structure okay i would look at market structure on the h4 that's exactly what i would do then i would wait for the previous lower high to get broken and enter on the retracement a buy okay i would look, i would probably use the fib again okay on the h4 i would do this from the lower low to the higher high that was created and then i would probably enter around that area as well if i get a good confirmation if i get a bullish candlestick pattern and if i get a bullish divergence on the oscillator as well that's would that would be my entry trigger and then 
my take profit would be a new all-time high. My take profit would be a new all-time high on Ethereum. So probably around the 5k area. This is where my take profit would have been. So as you can see, this is a 1 to 10 risk to reward. So as I said, again, if let's say I would have wanted to risk a 2k account on this trade, I would have bought I would have bought here and then my stop loss would be down here and my take profit would be a new all-time high and I would basically turn 2k into 20k okay so the thing is with the strategy what you're betting on is that this support levels right here the one that I showed you on Bitcoin and the one that I showed you on Ethereum that were previously tested and were very strong the bet is that you think that these support levels will still hold and then from here ethereum will then bounce off and create a new all-time high this is your bet and in my opinion like it's a good it's a risk worth taking so a 1 to 10 and a 1 to 12 risk to reward these trades are very good but as i said do your own research i am not a financial advisor this is just my personal opinion and my personal um uh strategy but you don't have to follow what i say of course if you like it give it a try but as i said before you start leverage trading crypto make sure to test it on a demo because it is very very risky and in my opinion this is the only strategy you should consider when trading when leverage trading crypto because as i said me personally i don't trade I don't day trade crypto and I don't scalp crypto. I find it dangerous and I just like to stick to my forex pairs, currencies, um, indices and gold. You know, that's what I like to stick. And yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. This is pretty much my crypto trading strategy. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure to drop me a like. Also subscribe to not miss out on future uploads. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any video ideas and also DM me on Telegram if you want to learn more about my strategies and also if you want to join my signal group. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found value in it and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.